I'm really excited for this video. You guys asked me and asked me and asked me in the comment section, so I'm finally gonna do this video. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the only two fragrances that I'm planning to take to Cannes with me. If you don't know it already, I've said it so many times by now, I am actually going to the south of France, to Cannes, for a fragrance event. This is gonna be my first time going to an event as a, I hate the word fragrance influencer because it sounds really douchey, but a fragrance reviewer. This is like my first event, so I'm like kind of nervous and also really excited. There's gonna be a lot of people there that I'm gonna be meeting, a lot of different brands there, a lot of very important people. So I'm very nervous because I'm very much a home person. <laughs> I do like to go out for sure, but I am more of a Netflix sort of girl. So I am nervous for it, but also very excited. But you guys have all been asking me because I have mentioned it so many times because <laughs> I'm going actually to Cannes, then to New York City in November um, for another fragrance event, which is super exciting. And then next year, I'm also going to Milan. So I have like quite a lot of trips coming up at the moment. So it's all very exciting. I had quite a few comments from you guys asking me to do like a pack with me or like what fragrance I'm going to take on vacation with me. But to a lot of your surprise, um, I'm sure that a lot of you guys are very surprised right now. I'm only taking two fragrances with me. Like, do you know how hard that was for me? I was, I cut it down from like 20 fragrances to just two. I was like, let's not be silly here. I'm traveling all the way to the south of France. I don't need all of these fragrances with me. I am going to a fragrance event, so I'm sure that there'll be lots of fragrances to kind of buy and look at. <laughs> not that that matters, but um, yeah, I just wanted to only take the bare minimum. And these two fragrances are the most important fragrances to me for this trip. And you know, like you guys know, I only, like I'm going to this event, I'm gonna be meeting with like everyone. I wanna smell my best my best and in the south of france in september it's quite hot as well so it's kind of like 23 24 degrees so i've got my little tropical dress on <laughs> the first fragrance that i am taking with me can you guys guess this beauty right here fragrance dubois Santal complet this has been like my top of the top of the top of the top favorite fragrance for over I don't even know how long I've had this fragrance now. Maybe three months, four months. Anyways, it's been a long time. Usually I get a fragrance. I love it for a couple of weeks. And it will always be a fragrance that I love. But it doesn't stay my ultimate favorite. This is my ultimate favorite fragrance, period. Fragrance Dubois, Santal Complet. I am taking this with me. And I will be wearing it <laughs> a lot. Um, because to me, it is just the most stunning, magical fragrance ever. If you don't know how this smells... If you haven't watched any of my videos, it is sandalwood heaven. It is sandalwood. It is coconut. It is lemon, pepper, violet. It's powdery. It's subtle. It's creamy. It's smooth. It's dusty. It literally smells to me like fairy dust. Like it smells like crushed fairy dust. It's just magical, beautiful. And I'm just going to put it out there if it matters to you. Massive compliment getter for me. Um, let me just say that. <laughs> so, Santal Complet from Fragrance Dubois. Yes, this is my baby and I, it will be the first fragrance that I pack. The other fragrance that I am taking with me to the south of France is this fragrance right here. Now, you guys have not heard me talk about this fragrance because it is more of a recent one to my collection. But when I tried a sample of this, I fell in love with it because I, um, you're going to notice this, I'm a huge fan of coconut and there is coconut in this fragrance. But let me explain a little bit about this fragrance and the brand because you guys have heard me talk about Santal Complet quite a lot, but I've never talked about this brand or fragrance before. This fragrance is from Nihan Aromatics, which I'm so proud because this is actually an Australian brand. Like, look at this beautiful packaging and it has like a magnetic cap. And the fragrance is so beautiful and I'm just so proud that this is an Australian company. Anyways, I have actually spoke to the owner of this brand. They're so sweet. They are literally the sweetest people ever, which actually means a lot to me because like purchasing from two people that you know are like super good, genuine people, it, it actually is really refreshing. I don't know. I just thought I would mention that to you guys. And the fragrance that I have here, I haven't even called 
said what it is yet is called Sienna Broom. I was actually talking with the owner about this fragrance because I was like, I just love it so much. And she told me that she actually wore this on her wedding day, which I thought was so beautiful that she, I don't know, wore her own fragrance on her wedding day. I think that that's beautiful. And she said actually that this fragrance was kind of supposed to be a take on the summertime by, you know, they actually based it on her and her husband's favorite pool. I don't know, I really resonated with her story and what she was telling me, that's why I'm telling you guys, that they have this favorite pool that they love to go to and they would sit by with their friends and you're drinking a gin and tonic, I actually love gin and tonics. The top notes are pepper, cucumber, juniper, very unique notes. Um, the middle notes are coconut and palm tree and the base notes are cedar wood, wood, amber and wood resin. But I just really resonated with this fragrance when I smelled it for the first time because I'm actually gonna put it on right now. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. To me, this is the beach. This is coconut paradise without being such a generic coconut scent. Like, I'm not trying to put down this fragrance because I love Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess the way it smells, but it's a very typical coconut scent. It smells like, you know, coconut and floral and sweet. This has almost like a bit of a, a greenness to it like there's a definite green fresh organic smell to the fragrance which i really love there's definitely that juniper the coconut is definitely the main player with that beautiful kind of fresh little green touch to it which i just adore it's like paradise like i just see this as a paradise scent you're sipping cocktails on the beach i can just see myself wearing this fragrance in can for sure so these are my two fragrances the only two fragrances that i will be taking with me to the south of france so we have my very and they actually both feature coconut how weird this one is mihan aromatics sienna broom and fragrance du bois santal complete these are literally the only two. You guys will see me pack them, wear them when I vlog in can. If you don't know this, I have a vlogging channel. Subscribe to my vlogging channel. All of my can content and New York content and packing is all going to be in my vlogging channel. So I will link that down below for you guys. So yes, I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what fragrances I'm taking with me. But you guys thought that I was going to take like 10 fragrances with me. No, no, your girl is being strict. I only want to take like the bare minimum. And if I could only pick two, it would be those two. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will link both of the fragrances down below if you guys are interested in purchasing them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.